Okay, then we should down. We do the ultimate player review on this card here. Neria is get uh, the new objective card. And how these ultimate player reviews work is I'm literally going to be discussing everything to do with this card, who to link with, um, how to complete, how to complete with, whilst doing other objectives, the player review part, the actual gameplay. Um, so let's jump straight into it then. The first thing that we're going to be doing is, you know, having a look at this card, seeing how well it will be and how good it will be. So. First of all, let's have a look at this first page. So, 5 foot 5, high medium work rate, 4 star, 4 star, right footed, and mostly explosive acceleration type. Um, it looks actually half decent there. A um, little bit small, but obviously it's not too bad on the wing. And the right footed allows you to cut in and get a finesse shot off. Um, so, when having a right footed left winger, what I'd like to do is have a good wing back fullback. So, that usually means... Like a, a very pacey, very um, small wing back to come up with the winger and then give it an extra support. So you can either cut in finesse or play it off to the winger and they can run into the box or get a crossing or something. So we'll be looking at that later, obviously. Um, and then on the second page, we've got preferred positions and alternate positions. So Cam it actually could be somewhere for Nerriere to play. We'll try that as well later in the play uh, when we're doing the gameplay. Um, centre mid is a no. You know, 69 defending is not going to cut it for a centre mid. And then left mid, I guess you could play there if that's what your formation does. But, I mean, preferably it's a left winger or a cam. And then in terms to link, we'll have a look at that later. But it's not that hard. There is definitely a lot of players that you can get. Some very good players to link um, with Neria, who does look okay, by the way. We're now going to have a look at the stats. And that is the most thing that matters. Um... I'm just going to bring up here as well on my phone. You won't be able to see this on FOTMOB. Um, how well the Rail Sociedad do or the, the Rail Sociedad women do. But we'll have a look at that in a second. Because obviously if she, if she doesn't get GA or she doesn't do anything like that. Then um, unfortunately she's not going to get upgrades. But that should happen. Anyways let's have a look at the attribute details. Then. So 88 pace isn't bad. Don't mind that. Going to be very accelerating prone so we might have to upgrade that pace for a little chemistry style we'll have a look at that in a minute shooting is very good the attack position is obviously a little bit off um and same with volleys but not too deep you know you're not going to be volleying all the time unless that's really what you do but that's the only bad thing on shooting everything else is actually very good passing is very good see this is why i'm sort of edging towards the cam position now because that passing is insane um, we're obviously going to give her a, a go in both spots and we'll show you sort of how she plays in them uh, in due time. Dribbling looks great. Composure is a little bit low and that could um, impact a little bit. But in terms of the rest of dribbling, it's good. Defending is very good actually for obviously a winger and then it's alright for a cam. Um, nothing wrong with it. We don't have to really look that deep into it. It's not that bad at all. Physicality looks brilliant, amazing, really good. Very high jumping, so she might be a little bit of an aerial threat. And then we'll have a look at the play styles. And so uh, for Nesh shot here, we have pinged pass, tick attack, a first touch flare, technical, traveller. And then we've got a play style plus, which is incisive pass, so very good free balls. And that could really prove to be a, uh, uh, an incisive point as a cam as well. Um, slipping balls through to the wingers or the strikers. And to be honest, a winger as well, that could be very vital. So that's a very good play style plus, I think. Now we'll have a look at how to complete this card. So it's a very, very easy card to complete. Um, you know, you literally don't have to put any anyone into your squad for it. All you need, literally the only thing that you need, is not like you need like six Spanish players in your squad, like your objectives usually are. The only thing that you need is attackers. And that's not the only requirement. Apart from that, you just need to score goals, play matches, win three, and assist four goals of attackers. It's that easy, boys. So that could literally be an hour of just, you know, loading into a squad battle game, scoring four goals, and then just waiting it out. That's all you need to do. You know, you don't need to be concentrating on this at all. Um, unfortunately, boys, there isn't very many objectives that go alongside it, as we can have a look at. The only sort of ones... You could have a look at these FC Pro Team Masterclasses. You could put like a badge on or you could be doing sort of this. Um, and these ones where you, you put three players in your squad. Um, I mean, if you wanted to do that, you can. It's a good, you get some packs out of it. I'm very beneficial, but there's literally not that many objectives out there right now, you know, that you need players in. If you still got the League Mastery to do, you could do that. Um, 
future stars golf shoot but stuff like this is most the objectives at the moment are just like scoring or stuff like that it's not it's not great um but now we'll have a look at the linking of this card then so obviously this this is the team that i'm going to be using it with i've just got her up to 3k on there um but let's have a look at the players here if i just go into my concept squad we have got some players here which are definitely really good links obviously you can use spanish la liga players as well but just for the sake of this we'll be looking at uh, Liga F Spanish players. There's not really Real, Real Sociedad players to get the green link. So you're going to need two of these players to get a full chemistry, I do believe. Um, but the th ones that I wanted to talk about is these two here, Athena and Mariana Seto, who, you know, they're 82 rated, but you get them for free and they can become 90 rated or 92 rated or something like that with the evolution. Um, and they will be becoming beasts for you. So if you want to go ahead and do them for this card, uh, then you might, you probably will come out of it um, with two 90 rated wingers after Fancy Fuss complete and she gets the upgrades that she probably will get. Um, and then Claudia Pina here. Most people did do this SBC. It's a very good SBC. It's a very good card. Um, and then you've got the left back, Olga Carmona, who's very good. Um, you could go ahead and try and get that. Then you've got Asa Bonmati and Alexa Putalas and Ona Batle. Team of the Year cards, obviously, if you're about that. You might not be using this card, but they are also like very good players to link. Then you've got Patra, Gujardo, and Salma Palelo to link to, um, which is also Future Stars. So now it's probably time to go ahead and jump into a game. And what I'll be doing is just showing you sort of everything to do with this card. So what I'll be doing is I'll be showing you a pace bit, um, a shooting bit, a passing bit, a dribbling bit, maybe a defending bit. And obviously you can't really do much physical, but that's what we'll do. We'll, we'll, we'll give her a little run. We'll give her a little shot. We'll give her uh, an opportunity to pass. We'll give her a dribbling bit. And then we'll see sort of how she operates in game. But um, this looks like a very strong card. So let's jump into that game. Thank All right, let's see how good the pace pairs then. The it's very, she's, she's very agile and very fast here. Yeah, we'll very good game. pace there. Um, Obviously, we're not against a very good opponent, but that was a very, very a good pace. All right, let's try a finesse shot with her then. So we're going to cut in here. Um, just cut around this defender. It looks very agile on the shots, and that's a very good shot there. Um, she had the time of day to do that, but that is a very good shot. Some with 86 shooting, I wouldn't expect that. So the shooting's definitely a very, very good attribute. Now we're going to try um, doing a little switch ball. I mean, that is a great ping. That's a very good pass, that. We're going to have another finesse shot here. Can she put this one away? Oh, that was close. I wouldn't expect her to score from there, but that was a very good shot. Um, now let's just test out the dribbling and then we'll be done, boys. Wow, that was a good turn. I'll have a little skill move here. I'm not very good with skill moves. She's she done him well. Then we'll have a try with the power shot. I mean, boys, this card looks insane. Um, we're going to end the player review there because we've basically covered everything to do with this card. If you have enjoyed um, and you have found this helpful, please leave a like. It would help me out a lot just because I've taken my time to help you. I think that is fair. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. I've, I do really appreciate it. Um, we'll just quickly score again to finish it off. I mean, it's an insane card, boys. I mean, you get this for basically for free. So just complete this now and you'll be thanking me later.